Just okay. What do you mean it's just okay? Oh. Was to get the attention of the people. You can't see me, I can't see you, but we're gonna go see Avengers. Mm. Avengers Endgame. For anyone else, there's no spoilers, please. Wow! <laughs> I just came out of the cinema and I'm a hot mess. <laughs> the feels, the everything. I'm not gonna spoil Avengers for you, obviously not. But damn! Oh! I need a, I need a minute. I need a minute. <laughs> Hero people, bienvenue at. No, not done with the bullet. That's a series on my channel, but to a video movie review. I'm Augustin de la Perrière, aka ADL Pokey, and I'm here to talk about Avengers Endgame for some reason. And no spoilers, because hashtag don't spoil the endgame, of course. I get it. So let's start this by saying the last 21 MCU movies have absolutely nothing compared to this one. It's a tribute to the last 11 years, to everything that happened in these films, to the characters with whom we grew up and that we saw evolve so much. All this, plus the character arcs that still evolve in this movie. And right until the end, the film leaves a huge impression on our brains. It all generates a huge emotion in the viewer. Including me. It is a film which is really, really well executed. In the crazy epic times with sequences that make your heart jump in your chest, with the characters which are closer to the audience than ever, and also with this dosage and control of the humor which became totally unique to Marvel. The film knows when to be funny but it also makes us feel much more. With excitement that makes us jump from our seat and applaud with the entire audience thanks to the so satisfying fan service to moments of tenderness that really touch us, all the way to tears that will inevitably flow from the spectator's eyes who religiously followed this universe, that in the most epic and most sad moments. It is a really beautiful film, visually of course, but also in terms of script writing. The way the story goes is a surprise, but it is really meticulously prepared. The film takes the time to properly expose the story and put in place a movie that has a much bigger impact than any other. And they knew that when directing it. I'm saying it now, and I'll say it again. This is the superhero movie par excellence, which also shows us that our heroes, as powerful as they are, can also misfire, fail, cry, get lost, or even lose. This is the best film of its genre that was ever created. Oh, by the way, Marvel, if you don't have a Sam Alexander yet, or Richard Ryder, whichever one you choose, I'm here. Well, yeah, because before making videos on YouTube, I am an actor. Well, well I, I made short films, uh, okay. <laughs> uh, so I mean, think about it, you already got a pretty British cast, so why not get a new fresh French guy in the mix? Diversity. I mean, you could try. I, I, I mean, I don't have an agent yet, so. Just send me an audition link, whatever. How, how does it work? <laughs> Look at my face with this poorly tracked Nova helmet. Works, no? You know what, finally. Well, no, I mean, uh, well, I mean, that here, that's me. Uh, I'm not moving. Internet, how it works. <laughs> oh, and if you watching that's not part of Marvel wants to help me, you can share this, right? It'd be cool. <laughs> well, you never know. <laughs> Bye. And thanks for these 11 years. Will that work? I doubt it. It's worth a shot, right? Gotta dream a little.